The Somali Democratic Republic Somali, Jamhuriyata Demokratia Somalia, Arabic, Aljvrit al Demokratit al Somalit al Jumhuriya ad Demokratia as Somalia, Italian, Repubblica Democratica Somala was the name that the Marxist Leninist military dictatorship government of former President of Somalia Major General Mohamed Siad Bar gave to Somalia during its rule, after having seized power in a bloodless 1969 coup d'etat. The putsch came a few days after the assassination of Abdurashid Ali Sharmark, the nation's second president, by one of his own bodyguards. Bar's administration would rule Somalia for the following 21 years, until Somalia collapsed into anarchy in 1991. History Supreme Revolutionary Council Alongside Bar, the Supreme Revolutionary Council (SRC) that assumed power after President Sharmark's assassination was led by Lieutenant Colonel Salad Gaber Kedia and Chief of Police Jama Korshal. Kedia officially held the title of Father of the Revolution, and Bar shortly afterwards became the head of the SRC. The SRC subsequently arrested members of the former civilian government, banned political parties, dissolved the parliament and the Supreme Court, and suspended the constitution. The Revolutionary Army established large scale public works programs and successfully implemented an urban and rural literacy campaign, which helped dramatically increase the literacy rate. In addition to a nationalization program of industry and land, the new regime's foreign policy placed an emphasis on Somalia's traditional and religious links with the Arab world, eventually joining the Arab League in 1974. That same year, Barr also served as chairman of the Organization of African Unity OAU, the predecessor of the African Union o. .In July 1976, Barr's SRC disbanded itself and established in its place the Somali Revolutionary Socialist Party SRSP, a one-party government based on scientific socialism and Islamic tenets. The SRSP was an attempt to reconcile the official state ideology with the official state religion by adapting Marxist precepts to local circumstances. Emphasis was placed on the Muslim principles of social progress, equality and justice, which the government argued formed the core of scientific socialism and its own accent on self-sufficiency, public participation and popular control, as well as direct ownership of the means of production. While the SRSP encouraged private investment on a limited scale, the administration's overall direction was essentially socialist. Agaden campaign In July 1977, the Agaden War against Ethiopia broke out after Bar's government sought to incorporate the predominantly Somali-inhabited Agaden region into a pan-Somali Greater Somalia. The war was part of broader SNA effort to unite all Somali territories In the first week of the conflict, the Somali National Army scored spectacular victories over the Ethiopian forces, surprising many American military observers who took on a position of neutrality during the war. Southern and central Agaden were captured in the early stages of conflict and for most of the war, the Somali army scored continuous victories on the Ethiopian army and followed them as far as Sadamo. By September 1977, Somalia controlled 90% of the Agaden and captured strategic cities such as Jijiga and put heavy pressure on Dire Dawa, threatening the train route from the latter city to Djibouti. After the siege of Harar, a massive unprecedented Soviet intervention consisting of 20,000 Cuban forces and several thousand Soviet advisors came to the aid of Ethiopia's communist Derg regime. By 1978, a ceasefire was negotiated putting an end to the war, despite this the majority of the Agaden remained in Somali hands until 1980 despite the odds. This shift in support by the Soviet Union motivated the Bar government to seek allies elsewhere. It eventually settled on the Soviet Union's Cold War arch-rival, the United States, which had been courting the Somali government for some time. All in all, Somalia's initial friendship with the Soviet Union and later partnership with the United States enabled it to build the largest army in Africa. Topic dissolution After fallout from the unsuccessful Agaden campaign, Bar's administration began arresting government and military officials under suspicion of participation in the abortive 1978 coup d'état. Most of the people who had allegedly helped plot the putsch were summarily executed. 
However, several officials managed to escape abroad and started to form the first of various dissident groups dedicated to ousting Barr's regime by force. A new constitution was promulgated in 1979 under which elections for a People's Assembly were held. However, Barr's Somali Revolutionary Socialist Party Politburo continued to rule. In October 1980, the SRSP was disbanded, and the Supreme Revolutionary Council was re established in its place. By that time, Barr's government had become increasingly unpopular. Many Somalis had become disillusioned with life under military dictatorship. The regime was weakened further in the 1980s as the Cold War drew to a close and Somalia's strategic importance was diminished. The government became increasingly totalitarian, culminating in the Isaac Genocide largely destroying several major cities and targeting members of the Isaac clan. Estimates of civilian deaths range from 50,000 to 100,000 up to over 200,000. Such tactics from the government prompted resistance movements, supported by Ethiopia, which sprang up across the country and eventually led to the Somali Civil War. Among the militia groups were the Somali Salvation Democratic Front SSDF, United Somali Congress USC, Somali National Movement SNM, and the Somali Patriotic Movement SPM, together with the non-violent political oppositions of the Somali Democratic Movement SDM, the Somali Democratic Alliance SDA, and the Somali Manifesto Group SMG. Barr was removed from power on January 26, 1991, and Somalia subsequently collapsed into anarchy. Topic President Muhammad Siad Barr October 21, 1969 to January 26, 1991 Topic Prime Ministers Muhammad Farah Salad November 1, 1969 to March 1970 Post abolished March 1970 to February 1, 1987 Muhammad Ali Samatar February 1, 1987 to September 3, 1990 Muhammad Hawaitel Matter September 3, 1990 to January 24, 1991 Topic References topic Further reading La Fosse Wiles, Peter Jonda 1982. The New Communist Third World, An Essay in Political Economy. Taylor & Francis. p. 392. ISBN 0-7099-2709-6.